we've managed to get a little glimpse and from what I can see it's difficult from where we are as you can see it's just a blur of spots behind the bush but it looks like a little shongile that is slowly facing in this direction hopefully she is going to come north we know that Hosanna was not far from here it's very close to where Ali left Hosanna this morning and so I wonder if the two of them haven't been together I'm hoping though that she is going to come north she is facing this direction and she's been slowly moving this way the whole afternoon but well at least we've got a little tail flick and we've got some spots in the bush and I got guinea files for Craig earlier who Craig's very upset because he feels like he was discriminated against because we didn't stop for the guinea files and so we have got the guinea files we've got the elephant swimming and now we've got our leopard so we've managed to get everything that we were looking for this afternoon which is a fantastic way to start the week, that's for sure. Look, looks like she might start, no, it's going to lie down there now. I was hoping that she was going to get up and move. It looks as though she was going to have a little yawn, and often when they yawn, it is an indication that they will start moving and start getting into a different area, and hopefully I was, she was going to come north. We're not too far from Twin Dams, I would say, probably... We're about from here, about 800 meters to the west of us, and she's about 50 meters south of the road. So if she does decide to move, it won't take long for her to get onto the road, and hopefully we'll then be able to see her. You can see, look at her tail. It's twitching because there's birds in the tree right in front of her. So you can see the branches are moving every now and then, and that's why her tail is twitching, is because she's watching those birds and getting a little bit excited so even though we can't see her face watching the tail is the best thing about a leopard I love watching leopards tails because they're so expressive and they don't have that tail that just sits flat much like lions and will only flick up every now and then for insects and flies but they will move around when they see things Lisa, you say, yay, Shungile, it's your favorite leopard. Well, I'm glad that your favorite leopard has been found. Lisa, I think she's a favorite of many out here, the little queen. She's, well, princess, should I say. She's not the queen yet, but hopefully one day she will be. And she's definitely...